New features in Tina Design Suite version 14 and Tina Cloud. Welcome to version 14 of Tina Design Suite and its online version Tina Cloud. Tina 14 is a major upgrade with plenty of new important features. Let's see the most important ones. New components. In Tina 14, lots of new analog, digital and mixed signal components are available from various manufacturers including ADCs, DACs, microcontrollers, voltage references, gate drivers, DC-DC converters, sensors and more. Tina 14 also has a variety of new analysis modes. Multi-sign simulation, piecewise linear PWL solver, new RF components and their analysis, circulator, 3 and 4 port directional couplers and more. User-defined fast analytics solver for SMPS and other devices in both Interpreter and Python. 7 HDL languages, VHDL, VHDLAMS, Verilog, Verilog A, Verilog AMS, System Verilog, System C. And this isn't all. Tina V14 also has faster solution algorithms, inverse Laplace transform, full Python programming language for additional calculations, post-processing and more. Python support in the design tool, DCDC converter application circuit search. You can also learn more about Tina from the new Tina and Tina Cloud eBook, 440 pages with tutorial videos. Also, Tina V14 now runs on Mac with one-step installation, including Wine. Let's look at some of the features in more detail. Multi-sign simulation. Multi-sign analysis calculates the frequency response of circuits without linearization, using transient analysis with a special excitation, consisting of multiple sinusoidal, so-called multi-sign voltages. This is especially useful with SMPS circuits, where AC analysis is only possible through special, so-called average models which cannot be automatically created, and for which, manual creation is quite laborious. In addition, multi-sign simulation is close to the real-life multi-sign measurement of transfer functions. Let's see an example found in the multi-sign folder of Tina 14. Select AC multi-sign analysis. In the AC multi-sign analysis dialog, among others, you can select the required diagrams and set the steady state time from where the multi-sign excitation is added. Three diagrams will appear. Transient result with multi-sign excitation from 1.5 millisecond. Circuit response to multi-sign excitation. You can zoom in to see the circuit response in more detail. AC transfer amplitude diagram. Bode diagram. Piecewise linear PWL solver. In V14, in addition to the SPICE solver, Tina also includes a piecewise linear PWL solver. A unique feature of Tina is that in PWL mode, it automatically creates the PWL models from semiconductor and other nonlinear SPICE models. This provides an up to 10 times faster solution depending on the structure of the SPICE models. You can find examples of PWL analysis with explanations in the examples PWL folder of Tina V14. The solver for PWL analysis can be selected in the options dialog of the analysis menu of Tina. PWL analysis is also very useful for multi-sign analysis, as it shortens the transient analysis included in multi-sign analysis. To demonstrate the effectiveness of the PWL solution, let's load a startup transient example from the PWL folder of Tina. You can choose Newton Rafson or the PWL solver in the options dialog of the analysis menu. Compare the result and execution time of both solutions on the screen. In this case, the PWL solution runs four times faster. New RF components, circulator, three and four port directional couplers. There are several new microwave components in Tina. Circulators are defined with main parameters or with detailed manufacturer provided or measured as parameters. Three and four port directional couplers can be defined similarly with main parameters or with detailed manufacturer provided or measured as parameters in touchstone format.
Here is a sample of the manufacturer provided S parameter file in touchstone format. Let's see an example. VSWR, voltage standing wave ratio measurement, using the CP20408A104 port directional coupler defined with a manufacturer provided S parameter model. User defined fast analytics solver for SMPS and other circuits in both interpreter and Python. For a wide range of power circuits, it is possible to obtain a fast, approximate analytic solution using either Python or the TINA interpreter. If an analytic solution is available for the circuit in the design tool, it is possible to obtain the results quickly as diagrams by running the fast analytic solution command from the analysis menu. You can also customize, refine, and apply the available solutions to similar circuits or even create your own to better suit your specific requirements. Fast Analytic Solutions with Python When you select the Fast Analytic Solution command from the analysis menu, the program will create efficiency. AC Bode Startup Transient and Steady State Diagrams of the Circuit you can also obtain the same diagrams in the design tool. In this example, the program code is in Python. When you press the green run button, the program will create the same efficiency. AC Bode, startup transient and steady state diagrams of the circuit. Now, let's see the same solution with Tina's interpreter. The program code is written in TINA interpreter. New HDL languages in TINA v14. From TINA 14 onwards, two new hardware description languages, System Verilog and VHDLAMS, are available. With these extensions, there are seven available HDLs, in addition to SPICE. System Verilog System Verilog is an extension of the Verilog hardware description language, also included in TINA. In TINA, System Verilog is automatically translated to System C, which can be compiled with MS Visual Studio, providing a very fast and optimized code. You can find several circuit examples in the examples, HDL, System Verilog folder of TINA. Let's load a wave generator circuit in which a digital waveform is created with System Verilog. Note that the code in the macro is written in System Verilog. Let's run a transient analysis. A out shows the generated signal after ADC. The great advantage of TINA is that you can run HDL languages together with SPICE. Let's change the switch and see the waveform after the low pass filter with the SPICE op amp macro. Note that the op amp macro is written in SPICE. Run transient analysis. Now, A out is a smooth sine wave. VHDLAMS. VHDLAMS is an extension of the VHDL hardware description language, also included in TINA. It includes analog and mixed signal extensions, AMS, to the purely digital VHDL language, in order to simulate analog and mixed signal systems. You can find several circuit examples in the examples, HDL, VHDLAMS folder of TINA. In this circuit, the same sawtooth wave is generated with two different circuit sections and methods. In the upper part, the counter is written in very log. In the low-pass active filter, the op-amp is written in spice.
The lower part contains a VHDLAMS block that generates the same waveform. A great feature of TNA is that it can run all HDL codes in SPICE, as well as MCU codes together. Inverse Laplace Transform You can define linear circuit components with Laplace Transform, voltage sources, current sources, transfer functions, and more. Now these components can be used in both the time domain using inverse Laplace transform and in the frequency domain. You can find examples in the examples Laplace folder of Tina. Let's demonstrate this through a simple RC integrator circuit. In the Laplace subcircuit, the transfer function of the RC circuit is given with the standard SPICE Laplace function. Run transient analysis. The upper curve shows the result of the numerical solution of the state equation of the circuit, while the lower curve shows the result of numerical inverse Laplace transform. The two methods provide the same results. Embedded full Python programming language in TINA for additional calculations, circuit design, and more. In addition to the interpreter, the Python programming language is also available in V14 of Tina. Python is a modern, high-level, general-purpose programming language with extensive libraries and a lot of free programs, available for various topics that can now be used in Tina. You can find use examples in the Examples Python and Examples Design Tool folder of Tina. To get started, Tina includes Python Shell with a short bubble sort sample program to play with. Analyzing an RC circuit using Python. In this example, we will draw the Bode amplitude and phase characteristics of the RC circuit on the screen using Python. Python support in design tool. Design Tool is a unique and powerful tool in TINA that works with the design equations of your circuit to ensure that the specified inputs result in the specified output response. The tool offers you a solution engine that you can use to solve repetitively and accurately for various scenarios. The calculated component values are automatically set in place in the companion, TINA schematic and you can check the result by simulation. This feature is also very useful for semiconductor and other electronics component manufacturers to provide application circuits along with the design procedure. Now, you can add design procedures to your design using the standard Python programming language as well. You can find application examples in the examples design tool folder of Tina. Let's see an example. The output voltage of this circuit is 5 volt. Now, let's specify output voltage as V out equals 3 volt. In this design, the design procedure is described in Python. You can modify or write a new one. Close the Python code window by clicking less and then pressing the green run button. The program will draw the calculated efficiency, Bode, startup, VCC ripple voltages, and the redesigned component. Now, the output voltage is the specified 3 volt. The redesigned value of RFB1 is 2.75K. You can save the redesigned component values to the circuit by pressing the save and close button. Enhanced with these new features, TNET can help you even more to advance your ideas and your product definition. That wraps up our summary on the new features delivered with TINA 14 and its online version, TINA Cloud. For more information visit our website, tina.com, and visit our YouTube channel youtube.com slash user slash tina design suite.